I've had a few requests recently to do a breakdown of Ty Simpson. And so in this video, I'm going to go over the 2022 A-Day game, part one. Part two will be the 2023 A-Day game. I've only chosen these two games because I think the small sample size we got last year in mop-up duty is not really going to give us much of an indication of what he's capable of. Even though the A-Day game is very controlled and the quarterback can't be hit, I think it's live action that has a lot more valuable insight. So first play... With Ty in the game, we've got a two-receiver route and a lot of blocking and a running back that slips out. Uh, it's well covered down the field, I would assume, just based on the defensive front. So not a lot to say about that play. Later on, third down, we got a little mesh route over the middle, but Ty realizes the running back slips out. Great throw, great decision ball, probably should have been caught. Looks like it was behind the receiver a little, but he had to put it there so the back could catch it. I thought it was a good play. Later on first down here, this ball, it's not placed in the perfect spot. It should be on top of the numbers or outside of the numbers. Fortunately, there's no safety there. Ball should have been caught. He was held on the play. Now we have a blitz from the field side and the middle linebacker. I think Ty's reading this to the left to the middle. He does see the tight end over the middle, but by the time he does, he's flushed out and has to throw it away. This is a great passer on second and 17. This is against zone coverage. He throws it right over the flat defender. Perfect throw. Now first and 10, little quick out pass. Second and three. I hate how the camera's always on somebody else when the play starts, but he takes off. Ty's not the kind of guy that runs to make plays. He's more like a Bryce Young. He can run when he needs to. You see, again, if they give it to him, he takes it. He's not as electric as Jalen. He's not going to try to run somebody over, but he is pretty quick, and he does run pretty well. Second and two, again, Ty takes off and runs. If you give it to him, if you drop downfield, a lot like we saw with Jalen, he's going to take off and make you pay. Now you get in the red area where it's tough down here to hit throws. You know, a good little slant here. Better to throw it a little behind the guy than in front of him with all that traffic in the middle of the field. Second and four, another quick out pass. Again, another good throw. Receiver does a good job of running backwards and losing a few yards on the play. Third and two inside the five. He's got the receiver good read, but he just misses him. If it's a good throw, it's a touchdown. Then we come out here with another bootleg on the next drive. Ball's just thrown away. Third and seven. Again, look at this. The middle of the field's wide open. He's able to run for it. Good awareness to get the first down. Next play. Play action play. Here's the deal with the spring game. You know, does he get out in a real game? Eh, it's possible. Good awareness getting the running back lined up on this play. And this is good pocket movement, but his worst throw of the game, the ball's clearly forced. If it's more on target, it's intercepted. I don't like the decision here. Third and 16, defender just whoops the guy blocking him. Quick sack. All day to throw here. You know, I'm not crazy about this throw. The receiver's covered high and low, and the throw's off. It's just kind of like he chucks it down the field. Third and seven. This was just miscommunication here. I don't have any other explanation than that. Third and se fourth and seven, sorry. This ball should have been caught for the first down. It's stripped. I don't remember if this stayed a fumble or not, but good throw. So keep in mind, this was from last year's A-Day game when he would have been a high school senior. Uh, he enrolled early to come in for spring practice. I don't want to put too much stock into this game. I don't want to read too much into it one way or the other. 
But there's definitely some good things to look forward to in terms of decision-making, quick release, and his movement. Uh, his down-the-field passing needs a little bit more work before we start the Patrick Mahomes comparisons. But overall, it's uh, not a bad start for him.